everybody, it's Eva here. Welcome to my channel and welcome to a brand new Sims 4 speed build. And in today's video, we are building a romantic townhouse. It's a huge, huge, huge townhouse and we're furnishing it really, really cute and cozy. It's like this big overgrown uh, townhouse in the middle of Brightchester. And I really love the end result. It feels really dreamy and super romantic and it's probably mostly due to the overgrown flowers and everything, but also the, the style I went for is quite romantic because I went for a mixture of European, more like German styles, as well as a London style. So it's not like fully London nor fully German or anything. Um, it was very heavily inspired by townhouses in both Germany and London. And also the Berlin pack by Felixander really, really made an impact on how this build feels because that pack really includes like beautiful Berlin-esque windows. And that's probably where like the mostly the the, the European and like German vibe comes from and also it's a standalone house so it's not attached to any other houses which would be very typical London um, and I think standalone townhouses are very common in like Hamburg and German cities like that so it's a bit of a mishmash but I just made it made it my own because I was just feeling um, like this really beautiful and romantic overgrown townhouse and I really really love the end result. Um, I did keep it fully in white so it really pops and then added all of the greens and the white flowers, the, the pink flowers on the walls as well, um, really makes it come to life and feel really fairy tale esque in my opinion. I'm getting just really dreamy vibes and that was exactly want to, what I wanted to achieve with this build, so I really hope you guys will like it. Um, and because obviously it is supposed to be a very old building, I added a lot of old details to this build. Window frames, um, trims, window sills, pediments, all sorts uh, to make this build feel really like three-dimensional and make it look like it has a lot of depth because as we all know The Sims 4 is not very known for, for depth uh, and everything can look very flat very easily So I always love to include a lot of details um, to avoid it looking too 2D and plain and a little bit boring. The townhouse also has a beautiful roof space with lots and lots of different embellishments um, to create like a really townhouse-esque style. And in that roof space is a huge, huge open plan office, which you'll see towards the end of this video. But there is also a side extension um, for which I used the winter garden set by Pierre Sim because it's like a tiny attached winter garden that I created there. Um, I also used some of the windows from the organic pack by Harry and Felix because they have the windows that you can use on the side of roofs, which makes this obviously the perfect opportunity to, to try them here. Um, and create this beautiful like glass extension on the side where the living room is located. So in that area, we have like an open plan room um, and the sunlight is just shining into that room so beautifully. So I really love this little modern side extension to kind of break up the very symmetrical and very boring square shape. So yeah, I really love how that um, adds another element of depth to this build. On the inside, I decided to go for a very traditional layout of the entire building. So we have the corridor and the stairs in the middle of the building on every floor. And then we have a room to the left and a room to the right. Um, and I did keep that layout throughout this entire building, except for obviously the roof space, because that's its own um, huge space. But um, yeah, that's it that way. It's a very closed off layout, which like I said in my recent videos, like I've been really enjoying closed off layouts. Not everything has to be open plan all the time, but I did keep a little bit of open plan in the living room slash kitchen because I really love a combination of the two uh, just to open up a space and make the two feel a little bit more connected um, because they are like the two rooms that I spend the most time in in my house. So I really want those to be a really um, beautiful and open area. Um, but anyway, yeah, other than that, everything is very closed off um, and we have three bedrooms and one humongous bathroom. So we have two kids rooms and one main bedroom, as you'll see in a bit. And I did go for a very traditional interior in terms of flooring and wall color. So I went for a wall paneling from Harry's new Octave Part 2 set, which I used in my last build as well, but it's just such a beautiful wall paneling wallpaper that I really wanted to use it again and also the floor is from that pack as well which is a beautiful wooden flooring and it gives me really 
um, a lot of German vibes. I think those types of floors are like really, really common in German speaking areas based on my experience. So that was really perfect to tie in that European vibe and detail in that part of the interior. And for the colorway, I was so in the mood to do a really warm and inviting and earthy colorway. So I went for like this terracotta color that is imbued a lot in this build. So it's not just like little details, but like the curtains themselves are in that color. It's a very dark like red slash terracotta mix that I went for with the furniture and the details and everything. Um, but yeah, the curtains already give that pop of color to um, warm up the space already. And I think in combination with the light brown wood, it just really, really looks so stunning. And the white as well. I think they, it's a really good combination, those three colors. And since I added a lot of traditional details, in the interior with the the wallpaper and the flooring and everything and with the windows as well like i love that window frame so much um but because of that i really wanted to include um a lot of traditional details on the interior as well um for example the radiators underneath every single window that just needed to happen because i really am obsessed with like the the look of radiators underneath windows with a like a little windowsill there which is very typical for outbound buildings and i mean the Berlin and like Austrian slash European style for Adbau really inspired me for this interior as well, as well as the exterior, because the windows are very typical for Adbau buildings, for which I also did a whole apartment before, like in that style. If you remember, that was my dreamy apartment and it was completely kept in that Adbau style. And I really wanted to have those Adbau details be reflected here as well. Um, like the, like I said, the tall ceilings, those beautiful windows from the Berlin set by Felix and the wall paneling, the wooden flooring, the kind of closed off room layouts with those beautiful like typical Adbau doors which are also from the Berlin set by, by Felix because that set is just a dream. Honestly, I love that set so much. Yeah, I really wanted it to have like this Adbau character in a way and that is probably also adding to the European slash uh, German charm of this uh, entire townhouse as well. There's genuinely like three styles that I could build non-stop which is New York, London, and Adbo. So I'm currently obsessed with all three of those and I'm rotating those <laughs> every week. Um, no, but seriously, like I really love this style so much and I felt like I would dedicate a whole build um, in this style to show like my appreciation of it and also the Berlin pack um, by Felix. And yeah, I really hope you guys are enjoying watching this video and are enjoying this style, this like mishmash of, of different styles that I um, incorporated here. Um, and if you do then please, please, please show your support by liking this video and also leaving a nice comment and subscribing down below that would really really help me and my channel and it is hugely appreciated but yeah uh, let's move on to the dining room for which i want to say a couple things because i've been using a new pack which is the precious promises set and that is a collaboration between two of my favorite cc creators ever namely charlie pancakes and pierism both of which i absolutely adore. I use their CC like non-stop in all of my builds. I'm obsessed with everything they create and I love that collaboration so much. It is wedding centered, which I mean, you're probably like, how are you using a wedding centered um, pack in this build? But I did because it comes with the most beautiful items for setting up your dining table for the wedding. Stunning, stunning flowers and decorations and lots and lots of candles there's canopies for outside and there's so many beautiful versatile items that I think I genuinely will be using for, in every build from now on even if they're not wedding themed so that's always amazing and in the dining room I did use a lot of their items for setting up the table because for the dining room I decided to go for a really romantic table setting and I used a really modern and sleek table from the brownstone set by Harry, which is one of my favorite tables ever, and then added all of these like more traditional details to the table to make this like combination of old and new, which I love for interiors as per usual. And as you'll probably have noticed, like it's not a very old fashioned interior, it's like a mix of old and new. So that was perfect for this combination. And there's this beautiful tablecloth, which is like a runner along the table that you can place, beautiful candle holders, plants, like I said, 
could add there's table settings for the actual like plates with cutlery and napkins and glasses and it's so 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 cute and I've been wanting something like this for so long um, that isn't too alpha and it's just absolutely perfect so I really set up this table um, perfect for a family meal um, and in the background there's this beautiful fireplace because I love fireplaces in these old and Adbao townhouses and also like in Adbao you can't really not have any fireplaces so there's plenty of fireplaces in this building as well um, but yeah I really am obsessed with this pack so much that I just rambled on about for ages um, and it comes with like vases and flowers and everything um, which I used for decorating this entire townhouse and on every windowsill every little corner um, in general I think this entire build is very very cluttered and probably a lot more cluster than I usually go for but I still wanted it to feel elegant and put together like it's not clutter that you would just leave up because you're too lazy to put it away it's clutter that is elegant and every piece has been put in its place for a specific purpose so there's just plenty of details everywhere like I said in every corner every nook everywhere has lots of details nothing is left without thought of what to put there or what can go there um, and I really love how cozy it feels and how homely that makes it feel in a way um, I'm not a huge fan of clutter when it's like you know leaving stuff out I don't really like that but I really do love um, this like well thought out clutter um, especially in this build because it's a very big build all the rooms are quite big so I wanted it to feel homely and not like have the furniture be lost in the big rooms there is also a cute little terrace at the back which i wish i could have made bigger but this lot is only a 20 by 20 and a lot of room was used for the interior and the front so it's only a small little terrace at the back um but i did use a lot of the precious promises set items for, uh, for that as well because like i said i think that pack is super versatile so that proves it um and then the bedroom is probably one of my favorite bedrooms i've built in a long long time it's so cozy and so dreamy and i think i don't know whether it's just the view out of the windows or the windows themselves or i don't really know what it is but it feels so romantic to be in this building and that room I think embodies it so perfectly with the beautiful fireplace in the corner then the really cozy bed with the bedding I did use the Lottie bedding from my Shuno Sun which is from the new set and that set is also such a beautiful set it comes with really cool items um especially i did mention it last week already i especially that blanket um for the bed is my favorite thing ever uh, i'm not just using it for beds like i used that as a blanket on a chair i used it as a kitchen towel in the kitchen um and obviously as the bed, th bed throw as well but um i love this item so much and i'm so happy because i've been needing throws like that for such a long time and it's it's just perfect so yeah that bedding and the blanket is from the Lottie set by my Shuno son and then I created a cute little cozy seating corner with lots of books and magazines and some art prints leaning against the wall and stuff which is just a dream setup to relax in and yeah like I said no corner is left without thought or detail and then in the bathroom I went for a terrazzo style in a black and white colorway um just to keep it rather simple and then add color um with the furniture and decor in that way and it's a humongous bathroom like huge so i had to come up with a really cool floor plan for this so in one corner there is a huge walk-in shower and then on the other side we have the um sinks um which are for which i used the brutalist set by harry with the wall shelves which i absolutely love because again adding depth to the game and then there's also the bathtub and i divided it like in that way i really love the open shower i think it's so 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 cool i used some glass dividers from the bathroom set by harry and felix which i love i mean that set is just to die for and i use like the soaps and everything all the time because they remind me of my um, favorite brand for soaps they look very very similar so um, yeah I keep using them everywhere because they're so aesthetic and then we have the two kids rooms that are on the third floor so there is a room for a toddler and then there is also a nursery and in the toddler room I went for a really bright um, terracotta colored wallpaper which is from the tiny toddler set by Felix and Harry I did combine it with a toddler bed by my Shuno son which is super cute and again my favorite blanket from the 
the Lottie pack. Um, and then I created a little open wardrobe moment there um, using some clothes from the actual Dream Home Decorator pack and also the um, baby clothes or like toddler clothes from the small pack by Charlie Pancakes, which is my favorite pack for kids stuff ever. And then finally, there is a huge office, like I said, at the top. Um, so in the roof space with beautiful views of Brightchester. And it's a huge office space that I thought I'd create for Sims who maybe have their own like architecture office, their architects and have like um, their own office at home. They work from home maybe um, and create beautiful buildings um, in their neighborhood and that's why I went for a big open space and it's like it has two desks one for working at the computer and then the other has like a huge architecture model um, for people to admire probably um, so yeah I've pictured them to be um, architects uh, working here and that is also due to the fact that the Berlin set by Felix comes with office furniture and decor and it's very much centered around them being architects so that's why um, that inspiration came from but it's just such a vibe yeah that is pretty much everything that I have time for and can go into detail with um, for today because the speed build part of the video is coming to an end soon um, but the tour is still coming up which I hope you will enjoy and I'm really grateful for everybody who sticks around for that um, but yeah I'm afraid I will have to say my goodbyes and I'll see you again next week with a brand new Sims 4 speed build bye